Howdy folks, welcome to part 43 of Pokemon Crystal. So it is time, guys. It's time. Let us go and challenge the Elite Four. Wonder how Lorelai's doing, you know, my favorite Elite Four and NPC trainer from Pokemon Generation 1. Will. Wait a minute. No! 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 I wanted Lorelei. No! So yeah, evidently Lorelei retired over the last three years. <sighs> and they replaced her with Will. Will's actually a surprisingly tough way to start out because of the fact he has Psychic type. His, his whole team gimmick is Psychic. And as I've mentioned before, Psychic is the most powerful type in these games. It still is, even in Gen 2. I know a lot of people would like to say, no, no, Dragons are the toughest. Which I don't even think that's true nowadays for Gen 5. Or Gen 6, for that matter. Um, well, especially not Gen 6, but... Yeah, I'm actually recording this after having bought X and Y. I'm not as engrossed in it as much as I had thought I would be, but I'm still loving it. Anyway, I guess I should talk about the Zatu. As you can see, it's kicking my ass. <laughs> Zatu, I made mention of it earlier, is the evolved form of Natu. His are fucking cheated, though, because... Well, I guess they're not cheated. Maybe he used TMs. I don't know. But Zatu does not learn Psychic until level 50. This is level 40 and it knows it. Fucking unfair. Anyway, though, it is psychic slash flying, as you can probably guess. So, lightning, ice. There really isn't any dual typing that I can recommend for Zatu. You really want to make Will easier? Have a dark type. Which just really limits you, actually, now that I think about it. Because all you can really have right now is Umbreon, uh, Sneasel... Holy shit, I think that's it. Is that really it? Only those two? Holy fuck. Well, I'm pretty sure that that's right. The only two that you can have right now are Umbreon or Sneasel. In which case, go with Umbreon, but... Fuck. Wow, that is just so disappointing. Anyway... I'm trying to use Quagsire to get Amnesia going, and indeed, this actually is a really good strategy for me. It's even better if you're using Slowbro, you'll tear this guy a new one. But since I'm using Quagsire, not Slowbro, I can't rely on that. Yeah, um, Will's Pokemon, they all hit really hard, and his Zatu is really fast. You're going to get hammered by Psychic in this battle. There's there's no way around it. You're going to constantly be getting psychic Almost all of his Pokemon know it. For some reason, I thought my Hyper Potions were down there. I opt for a Super Potion because, you know, it, it's all, it almost fully healed me. If I had a Lemonade, that would have done it. Huh. Ice Punch, though, is pretty much my only hope. Oh, I guess Surf could do it, too. Earthquake can't, even though that would probably be a little more effective as far as, you know, physical attacks hitting a special based Pokemon. Luckily, Ice is super effective. And again, this is why Quagsire is so fucking good in Gen 2. <laughs> fucking based. But huzzah, with that, Zatu finally goes down. Thank God. Executor! This is actually probably his easiest uh, Pokemon because I don't even know if it has a psychic type attack. All it ever used on me was Egg Bomb, which definitely hurts, but it's not grass type, it's just a normal type attack, and it just. Uh, it just didn't seem like anything worthwhile. I seriously, I think that this is his weakest Pokemon. Oh, also, uh, Egg Bomb has pretty shitty accuracy, as you can see. <laughs> Either that, or else I'm just really lucky. Either way. Ah, Jinx.
This is when I'm like, okay, I'm probably gonna need to heal because, yeah, this is gonna hurt. Eh, kinda bad, not too terrible. On the upside, I can use Earthquake against this one, so it should go... quicker. <laughs> I don't know if I'd say quick, but quicker. Eh, it went alright. For the most part, though, there's only really... I'm only really using one strategy against Will here, and that's use Quagsire, build up Amnesia, and just tank through it all. Quagsire can do it. Even though I do think Will's one of the tougher members of the Elite Four, I don't think he's the toughest by any means. He's probably somewhere in the middle. He's like third toughest is where I'd honestly rank him. Uh, that's just me. This Slowbro, uh, I actually think is his... Probably one of his most annoying Pokemon to take out. Especially since it knows the Amnesia as well, and so special attacks, not really going to hurt it. And it knows Body Slam. And it's pink. Anyway, though, because it knows Amnesia, I don't know how effective I can actually recommend si er, Electric-type attacks. I don't know how effective they'll actually be. I think you're honestly better off using some kind of physical-based attack, such as Earthquake, like like what I'm using. Of course, though, if you have a Ground-type, he's gonna, he's gonna blow you away, because I'm pretty sure his Quagsire knows Surf. I'm pretty sure it does. But with this Earthquake, Slowbro goes down. Did I call it a Quagsire earlier? <laughs> Sorry, I meant his Slowbro. His Slowbro knows Surf. <laughs> ah, fuck. And yes, his final Pokemon is another Zatu. Two levels higher. Pretty much the exact same, if I'm not mistaken. God damn. His Zatus are definitely his worst Pokemon. Uh... Slow bro, eh, oh, kinda. It depends on wh what you're using to battle him. Like, uh, Slow bro's way worse if you're using a dark type Pokemon to try and battle him because Slow bro's got a lot of other options, whereas Zatu does not. But yeah, I highly recommend this strategy if you're using a team similar to mine. Have a Pokemon use Amnesia and just tank away while you're trying to KO everything. Quagsire pretty much did this whole battle alone. Oh, and they also have max potions. I think that I think each Elite Four member might have two. I could be wrong about that. But yeah, otherwise this is really all I got for Will. I mean we're eight we're like nine minutes into battling Will almost, and I've covered everything. He is probably the third toughest of the Elite Four, so don't... Well, I shouldn't say don't worry, but... Don't worry, it does get easier for a little bit. For a bit. Not immediately, but eventually. <laughs> Anywho, huzzah! We defeated Elite Four Will. I... I can't believe it! No way! I can't believe this! Even though I was defeated, I won't change my course. I will continue fighting blah blah blah. I'm not paying enough attention. Anyway, he got his ass kicked. He wants us to go and face the other Elite Four people because he knows that we're going to fucking lose. <laughs> or at least he assumes we are. So yeah, Delibird. Delibird's so low in level in comparison to the things we're going to be fighting here in the Elite Four. Lantern got the shit kicked out of it pretty fucking fast. Again, Will hits really hard, and he hits pretty fast. Psychics... I still think Psychics... Psychic is the best type in Gen 1, 2. Well, and by best, I mean toughest. And honestly, I even think so for Gen 3. Uh, Psychic's pretty fucking powerful in Gen 3, if you know what you're doing as well. But any of you folks will take on the second Elite Four member in Part 44. Stay tuned. <laughs>